everybody, welcome back. I'm Leah. And I'm Aiken. And this is our channel where we talk about property investing, business, and working together as a couple. And in today's video, we are going to have a look around a project that AK has been managing, project managing for his brother. And it's been ongoing for quite a few months now. So we're gonna do a little project update. You might remember this house from previous videos we've made. You've met our builder on this one, who we've used on other projects. And it has come along quite a way since the last time I saw it. We're almost there. I'd say we're sort of maybe six weeks out. I'd like to think we're six weeks out. Yeah, I'm excited to see what it looks like, what is left to do. We'll show you guys around the property. And we've just started to do more of this type of thing where we're finding properties off market and we are essentially completing these projects on behalf of other people. So super exciting. Let's go and check it out. When we left the house, it was really nice and sunny and now it is throwing it down. It is horrible. I always catch you picking your nose. No, I was doing that because it was itchy. Okay, fine. You heard it here first, guys. Itchy nose. You don't know what it's like to have stubble in your nose. <laughs> Are you joking? I'm Greek. Of course I know what it's like to have stubble. To be fair, I did I did notice. <laughs> you not see my little moustache? <laughs> I did notice. Sometimes you tell me all about it. Yeah, I did notice a little <laughs> bit of a tash. Okay, guys, change of plan. It's a bit loud on site today, so we're going to go back in two days when it's a bit more quiet, and we'll show you around then. See you in a couple of days. All right, it's Thursday and we're here. I think they're tiling now. Let's go, we're in. You're gonna notice some big changes today, guys. This is the last time you're gonna see it before it's completely done. Good stuff happening, so. Look at these walls. We've actually got real walls now. Amazing. Do you know what I need to do? I think the last time we saw it, it did have walls. Sorry. <laughs> that is look quite the, funny look though. Look at the plaster. Look at the new right. walls. Look at the plastered <laughs> walls. Yeah, Lovely. You're right, you're right. Health and safety. Health and safety. You've got some nice heating on the earth. It's so warm now. It's going to be the first bedroom, bedroom number one of the first apartment. It's really taking shape now. Brand new windows. Plasterboarding is all sorted and they've been painted. We are getting there. Nice. And the guys are just doing all the tiling now, so it's a little bit loud. Yeah. But we might be able to just pop our head in and just have a look. Hopefully, no copyright on the music you can hear. Fingers crossed, I don't want to get a copyright claim Sugar. on YouTube. So, uh. No, I'm kidding. Imagine if I was on the building site. <laughs> I can't dance. So, as you can see, we've got tiling going on now in the kitchen. This room here, little mini reception room for the kitchen. It's looking <laughs> good. It looks amazing. I'll just show you, I'll just show you quickly in here. That looks good. And then, obviously we can't step on the floor in there. Yeah, I can see that the grouting's not in the middle, but it's nice. God, space looks way bigger, doesn't it? Yeah. Remember how tiny this was before? Yeah, look how much light is let there in now. It's a bird's eye view. Yeah, nice. So it's really cool. So this would be, be a decent little kitchen, actually. Yeah, nice. And some light boilers in. Happy days, I think the kitchens are coming next week. So, looking forward to you guys seeing the whole thing finished, but let's go into the sort of living room and then some big changes in the bedroom as well. Okay. So remember, this before yes. was all open. Yeah. You've got this stud work up here. I think I saw yeah. that when it was stud work. Yeah, to create the ensuite that's now in this room. The bathroom was in where the kitchen is now. Yes. So this now becomes double bedroom, which is a decent size with a really big ensuite as well. If you look inside there, yeah, it's decent. a really decent size. Yeah. So oh yeah, that in. is good. Give some light here. Yeah, it's a nice big shower tray, nice big ensuite there. Yeah. Lovely. And obviously tons of light here would change that window. Yeah, so nice. That's ideal. Um, the bed will probably go along there. Wardrobes across there. I really like this flat. Yeah, it's nice, it's isn't cool. it? And when you view it from here, if I just yeah. go round here, like coming out your bedroom, keeping it all that open, like, look, that is quite nice. You get your living room space here and then you go sort of through there to the kitchen. It's, what's quite nice is that, unlike a studio flat, it is just like everything is its own se separate space. Yeah, it is, yeah. Fuse box going in there as well for all the electrics for this apartment. So that's one thing that your brother had to do, didn't he? he had to split out the electric yeah. meters across three floors. Yeah, so each one's got their own sort of power. 
just for bills because obviously this is not going to be an HMO style property, this is going to be apartments, flats, so the tenant is going to be responsible for paying their own bills. So yeah, that was something that he's kind of had to figure out to do that. So let's go upstairs to the studio because that's, I've got a little soft spot for that one. Yeah, nice. Wonder what the light's going to be like up there. Let's go up now. So obviously this will be like the front door to the flat. And we come out here. The front door. To the next flat. Here, yeah. yeah. So again, we're going to put some handrails on because it's really sticky. But yes. Let's get up here. Right, I have to be careful of these ones. I've done these stairs quite a few times, and this is the first time that they're not cobwebby, which well, is yeah. nice. <laughs> Do you remember we had this little this little space in here? So it's actually where we've put the boiler. It's going to yeah. be a bit of a storage cupboard. So yeah. <laughs> it's I really don't know dumb. why I just love this little storage cupboard. Because I think because if you're a kid, you are a big kid, I'm like big hide kid. and seek. Like yeah. this is perfect for games. So we've done that. And That's then, really fun. Like imagine being a kid and having like a secret hideout in here. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. so fun. Now you'll start to see that this is kind of a bit of an entrance hall, but a bit of a porch. You'll probably have your shoes and stuff here. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. And then the main bedroom, so or bedroom kitchen, is obviously studio apartment. So um, it's really nice actually. The new window. We've put in a new window there, so that just looks like so fresh and amazing. The lights mm. coming through. I will put a radiator in there and you can start to see where the kitchen's gonna go. So all the tiling here uh, and all the kitchen units will start to be installed sort of either next week or the week after going into there. And then the ensuite in there, which in my opinion is really nice. Let's have a little look then. See the difference in tiles, but oh, I just think the, beautiful. the finish is really great. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And it's a really good size. I think we've given them plenty of room you know, what a lot of people do is they make the bathrooms and the ensuites tiny to allow for more space in the room. But I think what we've done here is we've just tried to balance it a bit more so that there's plenty of space in there. Because it's horrible when you're in like a bathroom and stuff and you're kind of like, like this. Yeah. So we've given them plenty of space. So the kitchen's there, the ensuite's there, and then the bed, uh, the bed will be there. And then we'll... Do you think like maybe a little workspace here? Because that feels like a... Yeah. Not not kitchen workspace, like actually like, like a desk, a desk or, a, desk yeah, or a, exactly. a chair with a nice sort of nook that's not. Because if yeah. that's all bedroom, this window feels like the right area for a bit of living space, doesn't it? Yeah. Like my friend Shu uh, had a studio and we called it the studio, like mixed between studio and Shu, her name. And she, it, you, obviously just, it was in central London. You walked in, it was just literally a bed that you could walk around each side. And then a, a very, very small kitchen, probably that came to about here, to here to here. And the bathroom wasn't as big as that. And honestly, I never felt like this isn't big enough. I was like, it's just perfect for one. I think that is the thing. It's solo living, isn't it? It's not about two people being in here with a baby. It's just a solo person living here, young professional, or, you know, a student perhaps. But yeah, it's good. It's just really, really good. It's really coming on, isn't it? Yeah. I bet you love all these little hiding places. Like, imagine being a kid there. Yeah, that's it. That's fun, isn't it? That's, that's just a little bonus storage place. I bonus know. storage. Obsessed with storage. Lots storage. Of Will they be giving the tenants access to the no. loft? No. Nope. You know, a, a lot of um, landlords, they don't let the tenants have access to the loft. Yeah, it's just it's a thing that happens. Nice project Ooh. update. That was great. That was great, wasn't it? Thanks for showing us around. Yeah, and the next time you're going to see this, guys, it's going to be finished. Shiny. And it's going to be beautiful. I can't wait for you guys to see that. Amazing. Okay, should we get out of here? Let's do it. So we are back home. We're going to have a cup of tea and a little biscuit, maybe some dairy milk. Who knows? <laughs> that was the latest on my brother's project. It's actually proven to be slightly more difficult than what we thought it was going to be because essentially what we're doing is creating it's, it's like three buy to lets in one right so it's been a big learning curve but it's a great project it's a really good one for my brother to start with as well i'm not sure if i've put him off property yet because i've kind of thrown him in the deep end with quite a large project on his very first one but i have been holding his hand along the way uh, and supporting him through it so 
yeah, if you are interested in working with me in a mentorship capacity, you can head over to our website, propertycouple.co.uk, and there is a button there that you can apply for mentorship. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.